I say to you in conclusion, life is hard. At times as hard as crucible steel. It has its bleak and difficult moments. Like the ever-flowing waters of the river. Life has its moments of drought and its moments of flood. Like the ever-changing cycle of the seasons, life has the soothing warmth of its summers and the piercing chill of its winters. And if one will hold on, he will discover that God walks with him and that God is able to lift you from the fatigue of despair to the buoyancy of hope and transform dark and desolate valleys into sunlit paths of inner peace. And so today you do not walk alone. You gave to this world wonderful children. They didn't live long lives, but lives, but they lived a meaningful lives. Their lives were distressingly small in quantity. That's always the problem with a little violence. You know what happened the other day, and the press dealt only with the window breaking. I read the article. They very seldom got around to mentioning the fact that 1,300 sanitation workers are on strike and that Memphis is not being fair to them and that Mayor Loeb is in dire need of a doctor. They didn't get around to that. Now we're going to march again, and we've got to march again, in order to put the issue where it is supposed to be. Force everybody to see that there are 1,300 of God's children here suffering, sometimes going hungry, going through dark and dreary nights. Wondering how this thing is going to come out. That's the issue. And we've got to say to the nation, we know how it's coming out. But when people get caught up with that which is right and they are willing to sacrifice for it, there is no stopping point short of victory. <laughs> Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life, longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And He's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. I'd like somebody to mention that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to give his life serving others. I'd like for somebody to say that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to love somebody. I want you to say that I tried to love and save humanity. Yes, if you want to say that I was a drum major. Say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. I was a drum major for righteousness. 
and all of the other shallow things will not matter. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. And that's all I want to say. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word of song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. If I can do my duty as a Christian, oh, if I can bring salvation to a world once wrought, if I can spread the message as the Master taught, then my living will not be in vain. Yes, Jesus, I want to be on your right or your left side, not for any selfish reason. I want to be on your right or your left side, not in terms of some political kingdom or ambition, but I just want to be there in love and in justice and in truth and in commitment to others so that we can make of this old world a new world.